Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, two main important points of uh, why uh, the employees are fired from 5G telecom industry. Okay, so this is very much important, uh, and I want to put uh, this under this uh, company of job switch uh, because uh, the employees uh, who are fired from the uh, 5G telecom industry uh, so they can uh, easily um, understand the reason and uh, uh, try to enter into other companies where there are openings uh, and uh, uh, they can get some better uh, uh, support okay so earlier uh, in, the, in the very beginning uh, um, the IT industries have announced a uh, um, lot of uh, um, uh, firing of uh, employees uh, around 12,000, 15,000 like that uh, from Google, Facebook uh, and many other companies but now the situation is worse and uh, this economic crisis has uh, even hit uh, this telecom industry as well and the thing is that it has not started just now like um, it has been uh, I mean it has started uh, some few years back and uh, now finally the bubble is burst and uh, it's not any company specific it's the overall market which is causing this issue okay so without wasting much time let me get into point number one okay so for the first point is that if you see the statistics okay uh, the uh, sell of mobile phones so in, in the beginning like 2007 uh, there was an exponential increase in the um, uh, in the selling of mobile phones and later on it was almost uh, sort of stagnant that was fine but this is the time when covid was hit and after covid you, will, you are seeing that uh, the uh, selling of mobile phones uh, have declined okay so what are the reasons so the thing is that uh, um, people have bought the forging mobile phones uh, and, and initially there was a lot of craze and a lot of uh, use cases a lot of uh, features were added in each and every mobile phones but after a certain point in time we see that many mobile phones have almost all the features and uh, and hence uh, you know people are saturated with the kind of uh, use cases or kind of uh, features that they're getting in the mobile phone so uh, so that is one reason and now people want to use the bought mobile phone for about uh, four to five years uh, that is another reason okay so but uh, how this has uh, caused the problem uh, so first thing is uh, uh, i mean let, let me i have actually drawn uh, the diagram okay uh, so three sections over here so let's say one uh, two and three so the end users are the ones who are going to buy the mobile phones right and this uh, there is a decline in the um, in the buying of these mobile phones so as a result of which uh, the people especially people are uh, forget about 4g people are no, not even buying 5g mobile phones much not many people have 5g mobile phones uh, and many people are still using 4g um, we expected that uh, uh, you know the industry expected that uh, there will be a huge amount of 5G mobile phones that are bought during 2023 and 2024 but that is not happening as of now so if people don't buy 5G mobile phones um, and uh, here there, there will be a problem because these uh, companies who are selling these mobile phones they will be usually uh, you know contacting uh, the organizations or companies uh, who will provide them the chips right for these mobile phones or hardware or software to these mobile phones so now these people won't be investing in these companies and these companies will suffer uh, the economic crisis right and now i think you got it even other reason is that um, you know when uh, users are not buying 5g mobile phones uh, they don't even go for uh, 5g data plans okay 5g data plans are a little bit uh, costlier but uh, the thing is that uh, the operators see 5g data plans we are going to give the money to the operators right geo airtel or vodafone or things like that or now it is called as vi now operators have invested a lot of money in these companies okay in from past to four to five years and now they have deployed uh, um, the base stations 5g base stations uh, across uh, uh, countries uh, worldwide and now they are expecting that uh, uh, you know they will get money from the uh, end users but uh, uh, actually since there was uh, 
um, th th there are less number of people who have 5G phones and there are less number of people who are buying 5G data plans. Uh, uh, there is a reduction in the uh, money flow uh, from end users to these operators and as a result of which operators have reduced their investment uh, to these companies and uh, hence these companies are uh, uh, facing uh, the economic crisis. So, I hope you got the first main reason uh, okay, with respect to these end users. Actually, a um, so little bit I have already spoken about the point number two. Let me get into the point number two. Point number two lies with this operators. Okay. So here yeah, the thing is that uh, many operators like Jio, Airtel, uh, uh, Vodafone, and many operators across the world they have invested a lot in, in from past three to four years. Okay, uh, in these companies, uh, uh, so that these companies would provide the software and required hardware uh, to deploy these base stations across the world, or this in the layman terms we call it as towers, right? So they have invested a lot, and now these operators are expecting that they will gain a good amount of profit. Even they have spent money for this uh, spectrum as well, right? So. They are expecting that they will get the money from these end users, uh, uh, you know, by paying for this data plans. But uh, first of all, uh, people who are buying 5G mobile phones are only less, and 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 then so they are also not buying the 5G data plans uh, uh, much. So because of that reason, uh, these operators are getting less money, and hence they are uh, facing uh, they, they are facing uh, loss in their business as of now, and hence so they don't want to invest unless. Uh, they get a good uh, they get a good money or good profit so another point is that uh, in the beginning uh, these companies or organizations they have defined the 5g and they have defined the 5g with very good use cases very good services and killer applications things like that but these applications or these services are actually expected to be rolled out uh, uh, much faster let's say in, in a span of uh, you know four to five years but as of today uh, to implement the very good use cases it is actually taking time uh, it is taking time more than what is expected and hence uh, it is delayed uh, so since these good services are delayed and uh, there is only an enhancement in terms of uh, very good uh, throughput or very good uh, uh, download speeds or upload speeds um, you know only only implement is shown in this case and maybe a few more uh, use cases but not uh, uh, the actual uh, killer applications that the user can experience uh, uh, because of which these operators are not able to showcase or not able to advertise uh, okay in 5g you can experience uh, such a kind of, uh, of um, services and things like that so they can only showcase that uh, okay your download and upload speeds are much faster and uh, things like that but uh, whatever we are getting in 4G that itself uh, looks to be sufficient as of now so so because of this reason as well overall uh, the users are not going for 5G much and hence uh, the operators are facing uh, um, a crunch uh, in the profit and hence uh, operators are not uh, ready to invest uh, uh, as of now with the companies and hence uh, companies are facing the economic crisis and hence uh, um, you know these companies have hired people thinking that they will get uh, you know money from these operators and all as well as these mo mobile companies uh, um, uh, so that uh, uh, you know they will um, they will use those employees uh, uh, very well in the upcoming years but since uh, there is no money inflow it is not better um, better to keep uh, those employees and uh, and um, you know, face uh, uh, loss or uh, face with the operate, uh, operational issues and things like that so they want to uh, fire employees uh, as of now uh, so that uh, they can uh, uh, they can operate very well for the uh, for the next two to three years so i think uh, you got uh, the main reasons uh, you, you, if you think if you have um, any other uh, reason any other better reason uh, please um, comment in the comment section uh, let the people know uh, who are working in this uh, industry and uh, in the upcoming videos I will try to bring in which all companies have announced uh, uh, the firing of employees and also I will come up with the list of companies where there are openings uh, so that it will be helpful for those employees who are fired and uh, and also I will try to bring in uh, many concepts uh, especially in this uh, job switch 
uh, that will be helpful for the people uh, who, who would be giving interviews so who can negotiate the salaries or who can uh, prepare the resume and things like that uh, thank you very much have a great day bye bye